thank you once again for joining us today at Matoka TV studio. All right, my father in the Lord, Apostle Arome Osai, um, really blesses my life today with this clip you're about to watch right now. All right, um, do wait to listen to it um, from the beginning to the end, and then as you pick the point, may God Almighty bless you. Amen. It's about 22 years ago now, we were experiencing a move of God. The wine we were on campus. People were giving their lives to Christ without an evangelist. The conviction of God broke upon the campus and so many things were happening that we could not explain. It was obvious that we were immature as um, preachers and teachers to actually capture the full scope of that which God wanted to do. We as many people because there were so many people that came to me personally to be led to christ and we set up um, a holy ghost chamber on the tennis court where we served men holy ghost as wine yes and i was one of the people that functioned in that capacity so when we get news of someone that gave his life to christ i was the holy ghost bartender serving life so many things were happening at the same time that we were seeing the book of acts of the apostles come alive but one morning i went to pray it was 5 a.m in the morning i was in the prayer place and unfortunately i was the only one there that day and the holy ghost came to me and when he came to me he said son unfortunately i will have to leave that was not a good a good news that was not the kind of news we were expecting because things were breaking out things were breaking out and it was in those days that i sensed the anointing for the first time that when i preached the gospel people fall on that power you say you're going we're just getting started hallelujah that was how that revival began to die but before he left he said i will come again for many years I waited. I waited for a sign. I waited for something that will reveal that God was going to come. Waited for 10 years in intercession, in the place of fasting, in the place of prayer. And there was no sign. And when we say we are waiting, what we are waiting for is not the anointing that knocks men down. That's not what we are saying we are waiting for. We were growing in the anointing. People were getting healed. But there was something I saw on campus. It was not in church. I know how many members of Black Axe threw away the axe and got transformed. And they were so full of God that even the members of Black Axe were afraid of them. It happened on campus. I remember one day I woke up from my room and I needed water to have my bath before I go for lectures and the, the line of buckets was impossible and when I came to the place it, it was a black axe member that took my bucket put it where his was and he came and took the place that I was hallelujah yes when I walk into the common room those days people that smoke will stop smoking I'm not their father but there was something that was happening that I could not understand. We could not fully articulate it. Great things. Great things. I remember we prayed for about two people that were dead on campus and they came back to life. Great things taking place. And then the Holy Ghost now said, sorry, I have to leave. In the midst of the action, we were just getting started. What grieved you so much that you need to leave now? You have set us up. Because we were, we were going through the motion. And I realized that if you are walking with the Holy Ghost, any time you ever say, I got it, in that same time, you lost it. We were not educated. And we felt that the things that happened to Charles Finney was beginning to happen to us. Hallelujah. Many they, they were among us that felt they were the best thing that happened to Christianity at that time. Because the hand of God 
was strong. And the Holy Ghost came and said, Sorry, I must leave. But I will be back again. And we waited long. We waited long. Hoping that he would show a sign. As time went on, a nation that I knew that God had a covenant with, even Nigeria, was beginning to enter into the shadows and into darkness. And I was wondering, when, how, when will you come? It was easier for you to have come five years ago. Now we are overtaken by gross darkness. When will it please you to remember the blood of the precious that were slain on the mountain? And he kept mute for 12 years. It was 12 years. That is how many years now? 22 years. That he now showed a sign. It's time for me to come back. I asked this question. Why did you leave? I never got an answer for 22 years. But he says he's coming back. Turn your Bible to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 this is 11 years ago now I was in my sitting room. I was praying 4 a.m. in the morning. And Jesus walks through the wall and he comes in. And when he came in, I was wondering because he had no shoes on. And I was, I was afraid. I said, Lord, you don't have any shoes on. What's the problem? Then he quoted that scripture to me in the book of Joshua chapter 1. That everywhere the sole of your feet shall tread upon shall be given unto you as a possession then I knew that the reason for which he came was he wanted to claim grounds he reached out and called me and my body left my spirit and then we went to a place which I have come to realize that is Donatus village called Jatoka but I did not know it was that was a place and he began to curse the altar there. And when he cursed the altar, the altar fell. And the memory of the altar passed away. We went to another place in Tivland. That place, I have not, I have not discovered that place. Because I know this first place, which is Jatoka, was this shrine was sited on a grave. The second place, I don't know what where it was. And he spoke. And the altar fell. I think we went for about three rounds. And then we came back to my sitting room again. And then he turned his back. I said, ah, no, no, what of the poverty in the land? You didn't address the poverty. You didn't address the darkness. There's a surge of demonic activity you didn't speak about. And Jesus said, I will return. That is to comfort me. This one was 11 years ago. The first one was what? 22 years ago. I've only shared this one with a few people. He said, I will return. Blessed are they that believe in me. That's what he said. So every time I celebrate a birthday, I go back to God. I said, you said you were going to come back. We don't know how you will come back. We don't know when you will come back. But if you want to come back, come quickly. Because the tokens of the kingdom are stood. And it's easier to be afraid than to be in faith. So many questions begging for answers. And it seems there are no voices in the territory to bring perspective. If you want to come, come quickly. He didn't answer me until 2019. So it's time to come.
meanwhile, I need to tell you a story from heaven. Because when the issue of Nigeria was brought up in the council, most of the elders pleaded with God to shift his favor from this country to another country. Yes. In fact, Ghana was proposed highly in the chambers. I'm telling you what I saw from heaven. If it were democracy, God's face would have turned from Nigeria. The first, probably the first thing. Okay. Let's leave that. The contention was so strong. And then God revealed that the reason why his face cannot be turned from Nigeria was because he entered into deep covenants with our ancestors. Not because of us. There were vows that he made. There were covenants that he made with our ancestors. And at this point in time, it is not consistent with his nature for him to forget those covenants that are already operational. It was on the strength of that that God reassured that his covenant with this nation will not be broken. Thank you so much, and I hope this clip really blesses your life so much. And also, we want to use uh, this opportunity to appeal to our audience out there watching us. Um, we have been receiving your messages about um, the listening, why we are showing our face on the video. All right, please try to understand us. It's because of YouTube copyright and the reuse content. It has been some challenges we are having over the year so we decided to avoid it totally so please try to bear with us and may god almighty bless